What's up guys? Today we're gonna be uh, checking out the muzzle brake. Uh, everybody claims that it's OP. And uh, I'm not sure if that's the case. I think it's good for close range, medium range, but long range you still need to take that off and tap. Not that fast. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get into it and we're gonna we're gonna test both without and with and uh, just see how well it shoots. This is really close range. I'm gonna extend this every time we do it. So this is close range with out the muzzle rig. That's me pulling down of course. I'm gonna quickly um, I'm gonna try it without pulling down as well. Oh wow. The stuff still stays. <laughs> and this is this is without me pulling down at all. We're touching the clouds, I guess. But basically you have to pull down. This is uh the muzzle with muzzle brake on. Yeah, close, close range, that doesn't miss. I'm gonna get hit by a rocket. What? That's not a rocket. Oh, it's raining guns. Alright, um... This is without me pulling down the ball. It's pretty good. You barely even have to touch it at all. All right, now we're gonna set up another one, uh, longer distance. This was about two foundations. Go over here. All right, this is without the muzzle brake, uh, at a, a medium distance, around five foundations or so. And this will be me spraying with control, trying to control myself. It bounces around a lot. I'm gonna try that again. That was pretty sad. I'm ashamed of myself. Alright. Same shit. This is with the muzzle brake. It's pretty good. Alright, this will be without muzzle brake. And no pulling down. This will be muzzle brake pulling down. I've almost broken this AK already. That's crazy. Ten foundations, and uh, can't imagine you would ever spray at this range. I would never spray at this range. Let's try it without the muzzle brake. There's so much bouncing left and right, like you, you could never keep it on them, you know. So you get like a luckier spray like that, I guess. And this is with... Sorry for the noise, this is on the P2 server. This is with... The muzzle brake. About to go shoot that guy. I don't know why bullets aren't showing at that distance. I guess they don't show after a certain distance? That's weird. But, you can clearly see... That was pretty good, actually. I'm surprised. I've never sprayed it this far. It's definitely way better. I almost want to go shoot that guy again. We can't see the dots, but it, it's like really, really close. From what I can see, it's really, really close. 
It feels like the AK breaks faster than the actual attachment itself, which is a, an issue, I think, as well. Um, this is, again, without the muzzle brake. I don't know if you consider this like long, long range, but long, long range, I would definitely tap more than I uh, would spray anyways. Like, but if you had this on and you're trying to tap, it's not going, it's, go it's going straight now, but every once in a while, it'll shoot off to the side. See, so like that, it shot off to the right. I don't know if that's uh, enough for the muzzle brake to enough of a nerf for the muzzle brake because it seems like uh, even at this range which is pretty far I can't see myself spraying at any other distance than medium to close but seems like it's pretty broken though that's pretty damn accurate See if I can hit that guy. Interruptions. Alright, this is super long range. It's still pretty good. This is without it. That's me pulling down and trying to fix the bounciness too. That's not just me shooting off in the air like that. I feel like it maybe it's kind of broken. Oops. Oh, I'll redo that. That was, that was bad. Wow. I mean, that, that, is, that, is, that is a far shot, too. Cool. That concludes it. I feel like it's kind of broken. I mean, uh, for tapping, you might as well not even tap. You might as well just... You know what I mean? I, st I still, personally, myself, I would still take off this and, and do the one-two. Because I, I just know it's going to be that much more straight, like when you shoot the gun. Why are my things showing up? I gotta get real close to see these. That's weird. But uh, anyways, yeah, that... I feel like it is kind of broken. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Hey guys, just a quick reminder that uh, the Rust and Chill server wipes every Monday at 3 p.m. Eastern. And it's a five-man group max, so only five people can be in your team or else you will probably get kicked or banned and uh yeah come check it out later